I think people are much more known for what they're wearing than for their films. They're known for a particular dress that they wore on a particular occasion rather than a role that they played. Film and t It's fantasy, you know, it's a fun way to escape. And I'm really looking. The shoes alone help define that character that tells you this person is invested in being pretty in a relatively conservative but playful way. But the sound of those heels and the determination in the sound of those heels is like, I'm going, I'm gonna get there. I really love Katherine Hepburn and the way that she owns the clothes. You know, the clothes don't own her and there's a complete unselfconsciousness about her and her attitude towards fashion. You don't feel any attitude towards fashion at all. It's all expedient and yet beautiful and, and fluid. I know. Jennifer Beale's turn as a blue-collar dancer set off one of the biggest and more unexpected fads of the 80s. Flash dance, total, you know, fashion iconic moment. Leg warmers, leggings, leotards, you know, cut off, you know, sweatshirts with the studding. I mean, I remember as like a really little kid being like, you know, I loved my leg warmers. I loved that movie. There's that one image that came from the movie poster of Jennifer Beale sitting there with her arms between her legs with like the cutoff sweatshirt. It started a trend everywhere. I had a sweatshirt that was like that. It was my favorite sweatshirt and I washed it and I put it in the dryer at a heat that was way too high and the head hole shrunk so I couldn't get my head through it and I just cut out and made a bigger hole for my head. From the time I was in art school, I used to go to dance classes and sketch from the dancers at their rehearsals. They used to take their warm-up clothes and, and cut them so that for, for maneuverability. It just seemed like a natural thing for Jennifer to have done. Maybe it was in the zeitgeist. It's also how it's combined. But it's also the story. It's about the character making that irresistible. I think it was a lot of things coming together. Jennifer was an extremely sympathetic character. People wanted to relate to her. She being the underdog and achieving her goals, every young girl's dream could be seen in that movie. Also what Adrian Lyne did, creating the first full-length music video, was something that was so exciting and beautiful to look at. It's not just about dance. The costumes are telling you that this is a person who's an individual and will really adhere to their individuality at pretty much all costs. It kind of captured a whole, you know, young generation. Any kind of film that becomes an iconic film, you know, like Flashdance, um, is, is very influential. There's a whole uh, notion of branding now. It's such an odd idea, you know, that you can brand yourself, that you can brand your style.